Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm Justin. In this video, I'm gonna be discussing the actual cost it took to build our 36 by 56 post-construction garage. Definitely the topics we're gonna talk about are the material cost by themselves, and then we'll get into the labor cost near the end of the video. So first I wanted to go through the sections and that's why I got my cheat sheet here of what everything cost. So we're gonna go over everything. The entrance it took to get to the building, the metal that's on the building, the material cost of everything that I'm gonna show you on the inside, the garage doors, the windows, the door, the service doors on the side, we'll touch base on everything. So you're gonna have a real good number if you're building a building yourself on what it would cost just for materials for a building this size. Then I'll talk about the labor cost it took to build our building. So now, whether you're building it yourself or you're having someone build it, you'll have a good idea of what a building like this might cost you. So let's do a little bit of a walk around the building and see exactly what we got going on. So we'll start at the front. We have this window here is a 24 wide, 36 tall. Both of those windows are that. These are insulated doors, 10 by 10 commercial doors. And then we did use a two-tone metal down the side we have matching gutters and downspouts these are six inch gutters on the back side of the building we have two additional windows that are 36 by 48 so these are 48 this way 36 this way these are sliders those front windows that i showed you earlier those raise up and down these go side to side and then on this side i have two more of those sliders there are these four windows here are all the same and i got two service entrance doors these are 36 inch metal window service doors up top we have a full metal roof but we have solar installed up there and if you're interested in doing a solar project i have some videos on that but this video is all about the cost of our post construction garage. Something that's not included in the cost that I'll be discussing is the electrical. I installed the electrical, but I'm not including the actual cost of that because this is just for the building. Depending on how you're gonna wire your building, it can vary so much that it's not even really worth talking about what that cost is in this video. This is about getting it under frame and under roof. We'll include the double bubble wrap that's on the walls and the ceiling, all of the trusses, the two garage doors, all the windows, the concrete floors, basically everything. I do have this building pretty much full. So if you're in that spot where you're thinking, should I go one step bigger? Yes, 100% do it. At a 36 by 56, I feel like we can use two of these buildings still. So I'm gonna kind of go over this in the same steps as if we were building the building. So the first thing we needed to do was to get access to build it because this didn't have any gravel or anything on it. We had to buy a ton of gravel. How about 230 tons of gravel actually? Because we got, what, 100, probably 100, 150 feet drive up to here. Then we got this extra 36 by 56 and you gotta kinda build out to the side. We had to build up on the corners for the floor to make this all level. So we took a lot of gravels. So depending on your scenario, this may be a little different for you. Could be a lot more, could be a lot less. Just depends on where you're building and the access you have to your building site. To get access to our building, we have to get a culvert. And it has to be 24 foot. And the biggest culvert you could buy in our area when we was looking was 20. So I ended up getting two 12s and making a 24 footer. The rock alone is $4,394. Our culverts were $727. So if you don't have to have rock or culverts, then you can just save yourself nearly $5,100. Next, we're gonna talk about all the materials that it took. That includes the six by six post, all the two by sixes, the two by tens that you see up top up there, all the purlins up here, and basically every piece of wood that you see right now, other than the trusses, is what's gonna be covered under the material cost. 
And for the materials, you're looking at $8,755. So that's our first real cost. So if you're not having to do the driveway or anything like that, your first real cost on a building this size is gonna be $8,755. Next, we went with trusses. So we have a total of 13 trusses in the center and two on the end. And another thing that's important about the trusses is that it has a foot overhang all the way around the building. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So we have a one foot overhang here and all the way down the sides, all the way around. That's pretty important when you're pricing out your trusses because that puts an added cost on there. So while I'm trying to do this, I'm trying to give you ideas of exactly why our building costs what it did versus when you're looking at maybe a truss with two foot overhang or no overhang, then you need to take those in consideration. With that said, the trusses cost us $4,258. Next, we have the windows. We have four of these here that are 48 this way, 36 this way. And then down here on the front, we have two of these windows that are 24 by 36. As you see, the way it's designed, everything is in line. Even the doors with all the windows, everything's in line in our building. But we have two of these and we have four of this size. And all of the windows cost us $800. And as I mentioned earlier, we have two service doors. Those cost us $565. And while we're on the subject of doors, let's talk about our two garage doors. These are fully insulated R12 commercial garage doors. They're 10 by 10s, and that doesn't include a garage opener, $2,840. Next, we're gonna talk about the metal cost, and that includes everything, uh, including the screws, my J channels around the windows and the doors, the flashings, and um, all of these corners, the rack guard at the bottom. Don't know if you can see it for the grass, but the rack guard, everything that you can think of. This Z trim that basically comes down, put a Z trim in, and then you put your bottom color on if you're going with two colors. Because we went with two colors, it did cost a little bit more, but it wasn't significant. And we felt just to, the look of it was so much better having that two tone that that's what we wanted to do. So the total price for everything, all the metal, that it's including the roof, everything that you could think of for the metal on the outside was $9,282. Next, we'll talk about the concrete. Although inside is a total mess right now, I need to show you guys what it looked like when it was new because I haven't cleaned it. But the total amount on the concrete was $5,680. That doesn't include the rebar. And that cost for the rebar was $535. And then there's miscellaneous. This comes with basically any project. So like sealant, extra nails and screws, and just et cetera, like that, $525. And the last item that we're gonna talk about are the gutters. So we have six inch aluminum color-coded gutters on both sides. So that's a long run. It's over 112 foot of gutter. And the cost on those gutters was $1,100. That's labor and the material on that. That's the only thing that has the labor included on it because it was just a package deal. When you get the gutters, you get the labor with it. So the all-in material cost on our 36 by 56 post-construction garage is $39,460. That's $19.57 per square foot. So the labor for the concrete was $3,000. That's because they were already here and he quoted me because they didn't have to do the forms and things around the side of it, $3,000 for the labor. And then the overall building labor was $15,000. So between the concrete and the labor on the building, that's an additional $18,000, bringing the total to $57,460. That's $28.50 
per square foot on a building 36 by 56. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me until the end of the video. Hopefully I was able to provide you what you were looking for per square foot, what it costs to build or the total cost. If you did find something valuable out of this, make sure to smash the thumbs up button because it really helps me out. If you like the type of content that I'm putting out, be sure to subscribe to the channel and tap the little notification bell. So when I put out a new video, you get notified. With that said, I'll catch you in the next one.